When creating clips, it's important to allow enough room before and after the event to use that clip both in replays and in highlight packages. Clipping too tight means the media can start too late on air, freeze before the transition out to live pictures, or not be usable in highlights package. Extending your clip is a workaround if you have enough guard bands to do that. If you're limited by the guard bands, you could use the go to time code function to go back to the media on the record train. But that's not the most efficient workflow in a live situation. The best way to reclip is by using the return function. With this function, you can exit the clip, but you remain on the same time code point in the record train, allowing you to move freely around the event if the media still exists within the record train. So I have this clip of a goal, but it's clipped really tight at the end. Using this clip for my replay on air is a risk. I don't want it to freeze on the end. I use the return function to go back into the record train. At this point in time I'm no longer limited by the out point of the clip and I can roll my replay without freezing on air and then create a new clip of the event with more suitable in and out points.